What will be the result? First, private schools will be better. They'll be more diverse. They'll be on a sounder financial basis because more people can afford to go to them. And public schools will be better. I think in your packet of information, we have some information from the Friedman Foundation about the effect on public schools of competition. Now, in our polling, that I, the polling that I've seen, a plurality of North Carolina parents actually would prefer to go to private schools to send their kids that way, about 41%. I don't actually think it'll go that far. Uh, you know, currently it's at um, homeschool plus private schools about uh, 10 percent. Is that right? Of the 1.5 million public school students, but I think sometimes it will get up to 20, 25 percent. And when you have that much of a um, help me with the words here, that much competition, but you have a critical mass of viable other schools that can be attended. At that point, the public schools have to compete because they have no more captive audience. And they will then improve themselves so that it would not surprise me if it sort of bottomed out or flattened out at 20, 25, 30 uh, percent going elsewhere. Uh, it is only the tyranny of the status quo that leaves us to take it for granted that in schooling government monopoly is the best way for the government to achieve its objective. I'm for ending that monopoly and getting competition with good education quality. 